Guys, welcome to the Winner Circle on the It's More Than Just Money Movement channel. As usual, we are bringing you people that are change makers in different parts of South Africa and the world. And today, today, guys, I've got a brother that I respect too much, uh, not, yeah. none other than Mr. Banele Reo. He's the author of Nomai. Nomai means anything. Eh? Yeah. Nomai means I am. And, but he's doing amazing things, uh, especially right now with his meat production business. Mm. And he started a movement where they are building a multi-million rent company from zero. Yes, sir. To millions. Yeah. Show up with. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming through. Ah, no, anytime. Yeah. yeah. You know, when people are watching the work that you're doing, yeah, uh, they look at you and be like, I want to be like that guy. Yeah. He's doing amazing work. He's confident. Yeah, he's yeah. he's putting himself out there. He's getting people to invest in his work. Yeah. Have you always been like that? What's your story, man? You know, with everything, uh, when somebody has got some sort of glory, yeah, yeah. people forget that there's a story behind that. Yeah, uh, behind the, the the person. Yeah. yeah, behind the work that's done, mm. behind the personality of the person, behind how the person is doing business. There's always a story. Yeah, yeah. I know I, the story is multi layered. In fact, it goes everywhere. Mm. Talk, mm. But I understand what, um, what you're asking. I think um, when it comes to um, r r rallying people together, right? I think I've always had that. Yeah, well, like I think I've always been a person who's able to rally people behind the cause because this is not the first one. This uh, this project that we're doing now, which we're gonna get in into detail more later. Yeah, uh, but I think. Let me just tell you the the the, the behind the story um, of what you're seeing now is always been on social media. Now mm -hmm. so social media from the jump 2008. <laughs> no, with like, what with Facebook? Yeah, Facebook from the jump. You yeah, know? yeah. And um, for me to actually uh, start so early in 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 Facebook, for example, is that. I started way earlier when like, I was a kid. I think I was about my six or seven. Where um, there was something that was called a sort of digital village. So this was um, sponsored by um, who's that guy? Where where, where Microsoft? Bill Gates. Yeah. yeah. So he sponsored this thing, and then they built. They they took um, the the civic center, and then they put in a more computer. There. And of course, you understand which this is way before Google. You know. So when they put in my computer and then they said kids could come and like, you know, learn on my computer, blah, blah, blah. So I started my digital life on that, you know, so I could actually like go out and play and then some other time, yeah, and you understand, it takes a look, she, you understand. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I learned then, isn't just fine, away with your chat. So I've always been like online, you know, ever yeah. since. You know, uh, mix it and all of them. Ah, uh, no, I mix it. I, I think, I don't know how I missed the mix it. I think maybe I, I, was, I think I was a bit older when it, when it came. I think now I was older than, you know, to actually go on to mix it or something. Oh, okay. Like you missed the bus. I uh, missed it, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, so I sort of understood, um, played around like on my computer very early on and whatnot. And I think I remember asking my mother, I'm afraid to for really into for my encyclopedia, sure. Like, that's one thing I remember pestering her about. That and the bicycle, and the bicycle I eventually bought myself. Yeah. But I'm and a, you I'm eventually a had a lot of bikes. No, I Didn't you have a business where you've got bikes, you're taking uh, people around? No, no, no. That was, that was an interview that I did, and there was a show. I had a show. That I think that's when you saw, like, I'm a bicycle. Yes. I had, I had a show in one of the episodes I was doing bikes. But no, uh, I also now drive a bike. I don't have a car in GS. Yeah. Yeah. So drive a bicycle. So, <laughs> you know, but not to go over it. So, um, um, so I remember pestering my mother for Ireland, uh, my encyclopedia, right? And I remember when I was playing with them, I would like what you do now, sometimes you Google, just Google random stuff or YouTube, you know, how when you watch a video and then it ends up here, it ends up here. So, I mean, I used to do that with my encyclopedia because I would like get bored with, looking for something that I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And then I'll start just picking out any number and then opening up a random page and then reading. Young talk. So then I became that inquisitive person. And then I, I, I and then I became a person that actually just my what do you call this thing? Um 
uh, how do you refer to it, man? Uh, uh, your general knowledge, right? Or it you, became why you knew something about ev- about everything. Yeah, not not everything. Yeah, I know what you're trying or, to say. Knowing something about a lot of things. I know a lot of things. I knew the basics of a lot of things. Yeah, but so I think. Oh, isn't this fine about Facebook when they came? It was easy for me to like engage with like different people and talk to it because I need to that's what we do, La Payana, you know. Yeah. And then and and then and that came to um the part where Manje, I'm like, okay, um I can come up with an idea and then yo, let's do this, and then we we get to do it, young Todd. And then there was we coming for everything. And then there was. I remember oh. we, are, we are coming for everything. Yeah. Was that your page? Oh, no, that was a movement. I mean, it was more it was your page. Movement. Yeah. Yeah. There was, we coming for everything. And before that, there was, um, they, we coming for everything. There was, I create, we create. Um, so there's, I think there've been four. What is the movement well, about? We are sure. coming for everything. We are coming for everything. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, the, it, all of these movements, right? Which have now turned into the business where, where I'm in now. They've always been about um, we as a bandu can do things for ourselves without asking our government, without asking our sponsors, without approaching our mentors, without basically any support. We can do it ourselves, essentially. All of them. From we are coming for everything. We're coming for everything. Was um, it was let's let's support each other in whatever business that you do. Mm-hmm. Right? Let's just be a group of people and say ah. Now with Nessie, um, he started a book as thing in need twenty five that this month. Let's all buy copies of this book. And it was a when at that point maybe you just launched it. Yeah. And you know you're just getting like one uh, one sale yarn or two sales, you know how it is. And then but if we all agree with the all the money in twenty five, as I mean so ten, you understand what it's gonna do for first of all, the marketing for you. And also the revenue for you, you mm-hmm. know, So mm-hmm. it, it, that was what um, it was coming for. Everything was about, and and um, on on the everyday part of it was, I would then um, identify upcoming um, entrepreneurs and put them on the page and say, "Here's a witness. He's just started this. Um, he's just started um, um, a, a movement. The Fananale Ena, or he's just started a company like this. That is like this." Yeah, but so what that did was elevate a lot of entrepreneurs. Yeah, well, which I'm not gonna name, you know, because you're not gonna man. No, name what? Why not you? No, so you think know, people are gonna be like, ah, so, yes, 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 yes. What, what <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's crazy, in fact, it's crazy. Even people now, I posted today about the fact that we started this whole business with a zero. They think maybe I'm a, a motivational speaker there. I'm talking but about. But didn't they see you when you started? No, it said I used to stay zero. No, yeah. I used to put it on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I put, I put it on Twitter because um, we reached a milestone. Uh-huh. Yeah, but we reached a milestone where uh, now we're buying ama ama kakas, right? Yes. So so I put it up on Twitter. Which, oh, this is this is where we are now. This is day three hundred and twenty-five of a of a of a company we started near zero. I think I came off like. A motivational speak, and I started my restaurant with one grain of rice. Yeah, young Todd. Yeah. So, um, so they don't believe which what, but th- that's the reason why I didn't go on Twitter when we started, because I knew there's going to be backlash. Ah, backlash, na man. Yeah, no, this thing is not gonna happen, and then you're gonna get distracted. But I found a home in TikTok, found a home in in Facebook where people were actually like supportive of it. So now we're here. Young so it's, it's 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 it comes from understanding very well social these social media platforms, marketing and um when when I when I rally people around, I know my market. I understand, I know where to go. Like I can go to a LinkedIn, I know a LinkedIn is like we well, I wanna for the fact you think I spoke the you know what I mean? I don't have the look, I don't have the Babizan, the demeanor, you know what I mean? So I know LinkedIn is is that you know, so it it's it comes back now, kind of to understanding um, 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 our platforms, and when you understand our um, platforms, you basically understand your community. Uh-huh. Young uh-huh. The so kinds of people that are there, the stuff. kinds of people that are there. So when 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 I when I created these movements, I knew which way I can build um, 
I can build our our communities, you know. And I I I think Wuti, um, our page, um, we were coming for everything was one of the first pages that started this whole thing that you see, man, where you have these um uh I see has groups. Yeah, there's yeah, there's groups of now we're talking about the identifying span by Nokone and what is doing that. We were the first to actually do that kind of thing. Was it but, you guys and what was what was it? Was it Black Sense, something like that? I remember Brown Sense. No, Brown, Brown Sense, Sense. Yeah, did, yeah, so like yeah, I remember at yeah. the time Brown Sense was big as exactly. well about that on the run about that time. But yeah, Brown Sense, I think at the time it was um, it was more on like the community came together and then it was it was heading towards being a market. Yes. Right? yes. And then you know, we were heading towards being um that platform that finds and identifies um these upcoming uh land, um these upcoming uh entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. Were you guys yeah, working what? together at the time or no not not really. Not not really. Um but you, you see that uh, the people behind the Brown Sands um, we sort of like it's we intertwined. You know, we sort of, you know, you can see like a different different companies, but it, there's a whole click in your my entrepreneurs which sort of like Abana at all. And then when you went in and you when you link to that one, you link to that one. Young Todd. So he he linked to layer. So we can say which the link is up, but not to good team. We work together like literally, but you'd work with some team member, you know. Yeah. Mm, okay. So when you when you started the movement, we are coming for everything at yeah. the time. How old are you? Had you been in business yourself at the time? Or it was not yet? And where had you gotten the mindset to say, we're getting into entrepreneurship and I want to conscientize other people, black people to do it themselves? Oh, okay. The the big story the big story um how I got into entrepreneurship. Um I, I could see, um, this is back in like Boma 2005 or so, ne? Mm. when I was starting like in corporate. So you've been so, in corporate? I've been. Oh, uh, but you mean like in corporate? In fact. You get? <laughs> I mean, I can corporate. No, my in, boy. No, my in. In fact, I can corporate. You yeah. how, how long were you in corporate for? Ah, uh, for 10 years. For 10 years? Yeah, for 10 years. 2005 to 2015. Yeah, and I was properly mentored. Like properly, proper, properly mentored. A well, guy that that um, mentored me, if I can tell you the things that he, he owns and does and the businesses that is in, it's insane. You know what I mean? Like it's an. You worked with really him insane. and yeah, like he left like, to start a business or yeah, like I was a steel boy. You know what a steel boy is? Yeah, yeah, like I was a steel boy. It's like send me anywhere, my man. Like whatever that you want me to do, whatever paper you want me to deliver to who, it, it's fine. Let's do it. Young Todd. Is so, that how you entered into the job market or what? Um, I entered by, um, I entered by, when when I quit my, uh, remember in 2005, it was easy to get, get a job, right? Like, like we are quitter today. Like I could quit, like literally today, I 100% know which by Wednesday I'll be hired. Like I knew. That's, that's but what, were you, what were your skills? Oh, you had metric. Or you <laughs> so so had, finished metric. Yeah, I finished metric. Went, went into, into the university. Business. Yeah, I know. I went into university and Renza in, Renza in, in uh, journalism. Right? You did journalism. Yeah, I yeah. did journalism. And then after LAPO, I think like six months into it, into my journalism course, um, I was, so I was very active. I would to, um, get myself out there. So I, I would do um, I'm a script for radio and whatnot. And then I would approach, I approached one of my um, lecturers and told him, I was journalism because I wanted to do copywriting in triple A. That's what I wanted to do. You wanted to get it? You wanted to get into triple A? In triple A. School of advertising? Yes. Yeah. I'm Richard, da And I remember, um, I remember um, when, you, when you, they give you this uh, form, right, where it's an application form. And then you have to sort of, they ask you things about um, uh, write, write something about uh, one of these uh, white uh, uh, famous Western uh, writers. And then at that time, Nishaye, who's this Nigerian guy, uh, the Nigerian author? Chinua 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 Chinua
Yeah, no, before that. Before that, yeah, yeah. Before that, that. This is high. This is just after high school, I need. So I know she knew what I but I love his writing, right? So when you fill in that form as a triple A, they ask you like you know these people. You know what I mean? Better to write in the style of name any one of them, right? You know, like Shakespeare, they, for instance. Yeah, like you know, and I mean, like I'm wearing, but I'm wearing super tight, like so. Yeah, look sheen, we look sheen. So, yeah. but I know what I'm creative. You know what I mean? I know. But you're a township boy. But I'm time. township, young tall. Like yes. I'm township, but I know what I'm creative. I am I'm, I'm articulate. Yeah, understanding. Yeah, I know computers. I know the internet. I know the. But their their um, filtering system is not built for artists and workers. Mm, so built for the black boy. It's not built for the black boy. So man, I feel at this day. Me feelings I pal, I'm like I. You knew you were failing while you were writing. Yeah, while I was writing this thing, I was like, I don't know any one of these things, but I know which I'm actually good at what I know. Creative writing yeah. is your thing. Yeah. If you were to say write in the style of Chinua Chebe, I fit I would have killed it. I would have been inside. So feeling a pampa, but I asked again, I mean I need as well. I fit. If I'm pampi there. Then you, I don't drive, I don't go south. It's like, okay, what can I do? So literally next door, there was um, a varsity college. And then I just went next door, um, applied. And then I, I went to do journalism when oh, I was varsity there. varsity college? Yeah. Here in Santa? I know. Back then, they say run back. Run back, okay. Yeah, right next to, right next to Elan, to um, AAA. In fact, in the same campus. So, and then after that, uh, six months into it, I tell Elan Durham, I tell my lecturer, I mean, uh, the reason why I'm here is because I really truly wanted to go next door. But mind you, I'm here, right? And then he says, oh, no, I have a friend who has a, an advertising agency, blah, blah, blah. He's a copywriter. I'm like, yeah, sharp. I Can you hook me up with him? Like, yeah, sure. And then I started reminding him. And then he's like, oh, okay, cool. And then he, he reminded me, Veling and Bella, you know, went to the guy. The guy, what to give me? Um... I must write like copy or something, you know, like advert. And then I did. And then came back. He loved it. Um, oh, no, no, before, no, wait, 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 wait. Um, he, 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 I called him and then he said, um, write an advert for something, something, right? I, I can't remember what it was. And then he said, write a 30, 30, 30 second advert. I went back. So, my demeanor, hey, now my hands are over, dog. So I took a recorder, man, because I thought you think I was going to get a man. My knee part. Took a record, I took my body. Right, see, when I, when I, I'm a, I'm a south, right? And then, I mean, I'll do the reading. So, my guy does the. Ti, ti, How ti, is it that this sounds? Beats or? Yeah, no, no, no. He's doing a sound like, I can get some effects. Like, I'm young, we have full air. Like, we. Yeah. And then, hey, what, 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 what? Wow. You know, like, that's kind of thing. He's doing those kind yeah, of sounds. Yeah, he's doing those kind of sounds. So, we're recording this thing on that cassette thing. You know, I remember the one that used yeah, to open it. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm fit. Say I record it. I take this thing, go to the guy. The guy calls me back. He's like, I'm rich now. Me, I said, write this thing. <laughs> now you went and recorded it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you went and recorded it. I fear it again. Come see me. And this guy, I'm told, which is like, he doesn't want to meet people. But I mean, I'm naive. Yeah. I don't You're young. I don't know. Yeah, how old were you at the time? I think we never like, show my 2021 somewhere. You know, mm -hmm. I fear it. Oh, uh, so, see, see, so I, I go and meet the guy. And then, uh, uh, he loves my stuff, right? That I did. Funny enough, that like, that very thing mm. went on to um, they went to a meeting to a client. The client rejected everything that they pitched, and then um, the only thing that they had was this thing. You're recording, yeah, yeah, bo. And I think at the spur of the moment, at at, at like five to losing. The pitch, he threw it in. It's like, hey, you know what? We can do this, blah, blah, blah. And then I know I'm not. The class like, I love it and stuff. And then we went on to actually record the 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 advert. And then it went on to IFM. And and then my guy who was in the corner, the was doing the sounds. Your he guy, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he came <laughs> and then he did some parts of it, of the ad and whatnot. It was nice. So yeah. after that, 
um, I worked, and then that's when after that, Paul, and then obviously. So that was like your first brief that you got. Yeah, the first brief. Yeah, and then from there, I went on to work like in uh, in retail. You know, everyone has to go and work in retail. You know, picking the cards. So you you have to. Again, I about retail. I think I was in music. I worked uh, in retail one day. Wow, you look great. You know why? Yeah. Let me tell you what happened. So, yeah. I got this job through an agency. Yeah. Uh, it was Woolworths. So oh, yeah. There I am. Mm. I dressed nicely that day. I mean, I put on my black shirt, black trousers. My mother polished my shoes. Mm. I go to work. So, I'm thinking, because I need more ring more. I'm thinking I'll be there at the door there, greeting clients. Engaging with oh, them, yeah, yeah. talking to them, showing them the clothes. Oh, yeah. It's my day one. You can get, yeah. Uh, an hour after I arrived, manager comes to me, mm. says, hey, not. let's go to the storeroom at the back. Yeah, you merchandise. We go, we, it would have been better if I was doing merchandise. Ah. We get there, the stack of boxes yeah. all over. You know what he says to me? Will I box? Yeah. Step on all these boxes, make them flat. Yeah. So that they could be taken away by the recycling. Yes. yes I yes. spent the whole day Doing stepping this. on boxes the whole day. Yeah. When I got home, I told my mama, nah, I am the anxiety. Yeah. yeah. I'm not ah, yeah. I want to shine some box. Yeah. Next so that's my point. retail story. Ah, you can retail. That it was a, it was a short stint because I think it was like when my three, four months or something like that. Mm. And then I bailed out of it. Um, Were you in Lulet as well? Did you get no. the boxes? Mm, no, no, I was in I mean, I'm in music the whole day. I've been in music, you know. Oh, music, yeah. yeah I was in music. I saw violin. I'm in music. What the about your music? Uh, I need to it moved. Uh, what, but it's not listenership. It's not around him. No, I need to people listening don't buy habits. Anymore. Yeah, listening people, listening habits have changed to digital and whatnot. So there wasn't space for um your cds and stuff so maybe you can survive remember there was also reliable the reliable uh, yeah, yes yeah, so i remember yeah. that yeah. so um, we, they evolve you know i i wish would they would have been a Tapped kind of to that space spotify you know sure and i think those those are those are uh, some of the other things that um that actually led me to finally realize what these major companies that are currently number one in anything in the in the country right mm -hmm. they're not as sophisticated and they're not as smart as we think they are yeah you know what it's i mean processing systems yeah by far they're not you know mm -hmm. what i mean and like i said Uti, um i had this mentor that i worked with him like 10 years like seeing every day you know you you you're watching a person who clocks in like a hundred meter a year and you like and then you see them um make mistakes and making success uh, success uh, successful stories and you realize what they make mistakes more than they win mm -hmm. you understand because mm -hmm. umuntu that's sitting there and 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 watching uh, you and i in our uh, separate journeys they think what possibly would basically every day it's like a win every day is the yeah, that is like more that. it's more it's more lose every day than than winning you really if you are winning and Mm. Literally, I'm going to next, but because you understand, Wuti, every time you go back to my being philosophical and all of that jazz, can't it's a real thing. It's like you must love losing, like you must just love losing. You mm. understand? Be willing to handle pain. Yeah, you must love losing because you become a beast, young child. Because it, it, when, 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 when you get hits, you know, when you get hits, when you get failure, it's like it's part of. The journey. This is part of it. You understand, and in fact, it it spurs you to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, but if you wanted something and then you don't get exactly what you wanted, when you fail, you are like, okay, let me figure it out. Let me let me find another way. Or we can get another thing. So that is the exciting part. Because if it was a win, 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 both ends up honestly. But like, what would you what would you do if you won everything every day? You wouldn't grow. Like literally, you wouldn't grow. Like in it wouldn't develop. You understand? Because there's nothing else that is stimulating. Young talk. So you need these challenges. You need to lose so that you become sharper. 
who is sit and say, hey, I don't have time for women. I've got too yeah. many problems. I need yeah, to go and solve. No, yeah, if you, I wonder, I wonder if you don't choose your problems. I wonder if you don't choose your problems. They're going to choose you. And the problems that, that choose you, uh, they, they, they will obliterate you. You will not be able to, to withstand problems that choose you because you were not ready for. But if you choose the problems, if, if you like, as in, um, I'm going to, um, um, I have a nine to five, but I'm going to start a side hustle. You're choosing a problem. Mm. You understand? You're choosing a problem. If you're saying, I have a nine to five, I have a, I have a nine to five and I, I have a, a side hustle and I'm going to start cheating. You're choosing a problem because mind you, you're straining your body now. You're going to strain your body now. And then also with your side hustle, it's going to demand time from you. And now with the nine to five, you're going to have to have some time dedicated to you. So when you choose these problems, then you tend to deal with those problems, but you are prepared because you chose them. So when anything happens, Lapo, right? When anything happens, Lapo, um, you, uh, you, 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 you are ready because you know what you chose them, right? Say, for example, in another universe where now you don't choose the problems, right? Mm. Let's say you have a nice paying job and you do your job, you're really great at your job, you do your job nine to five, and then you have to figure what you do. You just watch TV and stuff. And the TV, hey, is in fact, Pumama, bad, bad, la payana, the advertising alcohol 24 7. You know what I mean? Those things over time, they actually influence you. You see other people living in a certain, in a certain way and you don't see what you're being influenced, right? You get onto social media, you see people are pulling out of control. You look at your bank account, you have to actually, I can do this. I can buy these bottles and whatnot. What are you going to do? You're going to do that because you did not choose the problems. Now, here's the thing. Now, you wake up one day, someone accuses you of rape. And when all you wanted to do was like, you wanted to just go drink. Oh, you're drinking, you're driving home. So chai si le yamont. So chai say you probably killed someone else. Or, or, or you drank and then you wrote off a car. Now you're in major debt. We are born with all of these problems you did not choose. And when they come, you're not going to be able to handle them. So it's better if you choose your problems, occupy yourself like I as in, you know, go start a business. But no, business is hard. Business is hard. I had Pambi once. You understand? It's better that way because you would have chosen your problem. Mm. Mm -hmm. Standard. Yes. You have something to say. Oh. Oh. When you stand there, I kind of think like you've got, a, mm -hmm. there's a call or whatever. Remember in my mind? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's fine. So, <clears throat> Mr. Rob, yes, let, let's backtrack a bit Okay. Uh, to something that you said on your journey. You said then you went into retail yeah. Yeah. and then you spent four months in retail oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then went into um, call center, the call center business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from the call center business, is that where you met your mentor uh, or started um, in I corporate quit. now? I, 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 I decided one day to quit because in the same way that you were bored with gunning boxes, I decided to quit because I had a side hustle where I was writing um, articles before Facebook. So there were there were these websites where um, you would write to Guti, hey, there was a party, Guti, Guti, and this is what happened and who was there, blah, blah. I need to remember I have a journalism background. Yeah, so so there were those party, there was those websites and then they, they would also uh, show like I'm a posters, what Facebook is now. There was those kind of things. It was like magazine slash lifestyle type of thing about yeah, my website I got. So I had that kind of gig and I was doing that at the same time doing a call center. And then one day I really started hating this thing of on a certain hour and I have to dress in the same way. As for to finding talking like ish. I want to put a list of two example. I'm not I'm not gonna name the brands there. But this captain this is the square. This is not the that's a cooler box. Yeah, I thought what you're talking box. about. Yeah, yeah, the cooler box, but it's soft. Yeah. Yeah, one of them. It's mushy thing. inside. Yeah. Just put the lunchbox. Yes, inside. And the banana. Yeah. And the apple. Yeah, yeah. one of them. 
When I say that, you can see. It's red in color. Yeah. <laughs> you can also see the kind of person who would see what kind of haircut they have. You can also see what they dressed, what shop they, yeah. they go to. I they have a Chico Twilight style. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You can see them. Yeah. You can see that person. And I did not want to be that person. I did not want to just wake up and do this my entire life. I was like, I, I went and told my uh, my manager, what I'm quitting, what to give me, where are you going? And then I said to her, I'm going to go right. What the right what? Right is born, but I'm going to go right. That's what I said when I left. And I went out the door, I wrote um, these articles and whatnot. I think I was earning like my three by a week or something like that. Three if I was 300, like, by the way, those yeah. of you are wondering. <laughs> yeah, I think I was earning like on my three clip by the time a week, which is obviously not enough because I went from a call center that was um, servicing US. Um, I think I was earning like 15K or something. And then I took a pay cut when I went to a call center in the country, which was now like at eight, somewhere there. And then now I'm at 300. A week. Yeah. And I'm like, to like 1.2. Yeah, well, 1.2 a month uh, from 15k. Yeah, I'm tall. Yeah, why? Why did you do that? Why? Uh, did you, why did you take all these pay cuts? When you know. want, when you, when, when, when you want something, right? I remember I used to tell, um, oh George, yeah? um, oh George, my 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 friend George, uh, he has um, he owns E Marvin Marvin the magazine, the men's magazine. I used to tell him Ngsaso, Ngsaso 9 to 5 at the time. He's he's at Marvin and he's broke like hell, right? And I mean, I, I'm in corporate. I'm money as hell. And then I used to tell him, I'm like, you know, you have something and I have nothing. Because he has something that he works on every day that is his. And I mean, I'm working on some something, but I don't own that thing. But I have the mind. So I, I sort of understood Ivelia Mali, you know, at some point. So it meant nothing to yeah, you. Yeah, it means nothing. Because I don't make decisions based on money. That's the thing. We don't understand. I'll tell you more about it. But back to the story. So um, so I quit. I, I, I really want to go right because I will feel better earning like the, the little money, but knowing what I'm making progress in what I want to do. Young and so progress to me was more important than getting the money that, that I was being paid. And there's a lot of people that do that. Young and so they, 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 they quit their job earning like a high salary and then they went to start something and then you think they're crazy. Then there's a point where you get to where you're like, the money is not the, yeah, I when, when I when I quit my job, mm. I was earning twelve. Mm. Uh, my mother was in hospital. Mm. I was paying twelve. Yeah, mm. yeah. For her bills, like she was in a step down facility, oh, yeah, hospice, yeah, yeah. being taken care of. Yes, I was paying yes. twelve thousand a month, but I still quit my job. Why? At that time, yeah. I I felt like I had a bigger calling at the time. Yeah. Um, and I felt as though I needed to go and fulfill it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You can't stop that thing, my man. Yeah. When it comes, it when comes, it, comes, to it, storm, comes. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes. Yeah. When it comes to everyone. Yeah. It, no, it does. It, it does. It does. It does. With they ignore it. it. Ah, they, it, we are, say piggy, sir. Yo, like, and you know, we piggy say the universe, in fact. You can't, you can't, you can't argue with God, in fact. So, so like, the numbers didn't can't. make sense when I looked at it. Yeah. You're going to quit but, but paying this No, this but money. if you're another person, if you're another person, it's like, why would I? Why would I quit? Why would I quit at the time when I need? And you know what happened it? after a week? Yeah, I got another job uh, offer. I went yes. for the interview. Yeah, they gave me the job. It was twenty five k. Hundred percent. I still did not take yeah. it. Yeah. I've, like I was like, okay, can I go take this thing? Yeah. And then a part of me was like, nah, leave this thing alone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to lap. That I think. Well, okay. This is what I've come to discover. I think a lot of people uh, think Google team. Um, when your calling comes, it comes at you or like see and then you say, Hey, witness, don't you want to write a book? And it's like, Hey, <laughs> so I want to write a book. And then you're going to be a millionaire. No, your calling does not come like that. Like I believe what your calling comes. Your, your calling comes and it, it proposes something so difficult for you. It's like 
Banele, are you going to put yourself online and tell people that you're going to build a business within 24 months and make it into a million? Go do it. You, you know you have a choice, right? Man, I have a choice. Can choose not no to do it. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's how a calling comes. A calling, a calling it's, it's, I mean, I feel what it shows you. It, it shows you the potential. But, but then it shows you a trigger in a way. It's like, you don't have to do this. Because if you do this, you're going to be, why, you're going to be embarrassed? Or you're going to fail at uh, taking care of your mom. Yeah. You're going to suffer. You're going to be broke. What you're going to do? That's when the real you comes now. Young Todd. That's when, that's when you need to be able to um, make that decision. And that decision, my man, it, it, you're not going to be able to make it um, in a way you understand? It's not going to be your intelligence that makes that thing. It's not. It's not going to be your intelligence. It, it's going to be, it's going to be um, how connected are you to your God or the universe? How connected are you? But it's saying to you, supposed to be a sing. Go sing. But can you stop this thing? Louis Tanda. Can you stop? Yeah. That's how it comes. Or if figure eat him. Um you can you can be a witness. You can you can be amazing. You can be an author, but can you stop being um uh what's the word? Uh, I'm not trying to watch here, man. Like a womanizer. Yeah, not a womanizer. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Another level. There's another one. Yeah. Now we're in question. But anyways, yeah. But basically, if if you have like just too much sex. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm. like if you just have too much sex, it's like you can you can be an author, but can you stop this? Right? Same with it when it comes, it's like um you have these responsibilities that you have to take care of, but I are, are you gonna quit because there's something greater for you? It's and hard. I had a promotion hard. waiting for me when I was yes, quitting. It's hard. Another one. Fourth promotion, 14 months. You know what I mean? So we all come to that point. And I mean, I don't believe it comes once. So what, why did you, at that moment, I decide take to jump. that decision? Is because, it what you are describing now? Yeah. It made you to jump yeah, and say, that was the first a week one. will be enough for me. It's fine. Yeah. that was that. I think that was one of my first callings that I realized, that okay, this is... This is this is something that is beyond me, and I can't. Uh, you, it's sitting with you in, in your back. It's like it's like you need to do this. You need to do this. Yeah, yeah, clear, but you know, it's like you need to do this. You need to do this. And if I don't do it, I'm not gonna sleep. Gosh, eh? you know, I'm gonna be bothered, young tall. So I was like, okay, sure, let me let me do it. But the deal was that I'm gonna be broke, but I'm gonna write every day. Ah, oh, okay, I'm not gonna answer calls anymore. Yeah, <laughs> but you're gonna be broke. Yeah. yeah. But you're gonna write, yeah, and then that's the deal. So you just happened. wanted to write. I wanted to write. I'm told I wanted to, and I. And then he, the flip side is that I hated writing, cause um, what, what, like that's why I say a proper writer, right? A proper writer hates their writing because you never feel what is that. I'm sure they're not Lena. How long has it been? It's not finished. Three years. It's been three years. Three years exactly. When you when you read it, ne? I can't read it. I see mistakes. It, Zach. People say oh, your book is great, but when I read Zach. I can't finish four Zach, pages. I have said this thing, bad. Yeah. So, guys, I say, you pay a little naughty if you keep You on. know, the, when the book was published, yeah. I was still writing. Mm. A friend of mine called me. Mm. Diesel Masi is an attorney. Yeah. He calls me. He's like, Mda, uh, how far are you with the book? Mm. And I'm like, now nah, I'm on pre page, okay, A4, mm. 120, 130. Yeah. How many pages do you want to write? A thousand. Yeah. Just, that book is ready, but yeah. I can translate into 265 exactly. pages currently. Exactly. Publish the thing. Exactly. And as a chief, this book is not ready. Mm. Then it's like, Mdak, trust me, people have pre ordered the book. 100%. The book is ready. Publish yes. the book. 100%. That's why I stopped writing. Mm. Like, okay, let's give it to an editor. Hard Let them deal with it. I've had, I've had four versions of the book. Now, I actually, every time I do a reprint, I just. You want to revise? Yeah, I revise. Every time, every time. I've had like, uh, like four or five reprints now. And then every time I just, so at the back of the, at the back of the, of my book, 
I write to go to what has been happening since the last time I published. I published. Yeah. 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 So the name of the book is No Ma Yi, yeah. by the way. No Ma Yi, the mentality you need before you start any business. Sure. Yeah. So now, so that book, Manjing and Zaja. So now I realize that I'm an Azin, that you never finish. Right? Mm-hmm. You never finish. But the key thing that is. Just to, write another one. Just start. Not start. Start and put it into market. Whatever it is, start and put it into market. Because the market is of jail. Give okay. you feedback. Yeah, it'll give you feedback. It's of jail. Uh, in what the so when I get feedback, like, no, man, this is what I found. I found a typo here. Oh, okay, now I know there's a typo. Fix. And talk. It's like, um, you you start a business is like when you started this business recently. I've been telling about and uh, what is it? Chicken feet, chicken feet. Chicken feet. Feet. Yes, yeah, ne? chicken feet and all of that jazz. And um, luckily, luckily, <laughs> yeah, there was a power outage, right? So I had a huge power outage that resulted in me losing stock. Of the whole thing. Of the whole thing. Yeah. Luckily. How is that likely? Because and then I t- I took I took these um these uh offers, right? Uh Mortanas, whatever, right? Because I thought that was not what the market wanted. And um I ended up throwing some and then taking other ones to our fish farm as fish food. And I never brought them back. Because they were not even selling anyways. You understand? And we experienced this like four days after opening the business. Four days after opening the business, we had a major. But it's, it, it actually gave me an opportunity to, to actually get like another different type of fridge, you know, and then put our high value meat in there and whatnot. And our story this is not, it's not cohesive. Know, but it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. But it, yeah. But we want know, it like that. Yeah. It's it sounds uh, all, all over. But yeah. But, and then I never brought them back, you know. So now I'm at that, I'm at that point, witness, where like nothing bad happens. Like literally that is the motto of this business. Nothing bad ever happens. Because I actually realized with all, oh, actually for all the stuff that goes to waste or I do not use, we actually take it to the farm now. To the fish farm. Yeah. yeah, because our guy, Wenzani, he converts it into fish food. And then he grows the food and comes back same night. And you think what I would have thought of this long ago. But when you're dealing with accounting, marketing, you know, you you don't know everything. You don't see everything. Some things that other people from outside are like, ah, oh, man. But uh, that's easy to think of. No, it's not. Because you're dealing with different things every day. And problems are coming in different problems. ways. And But each and every problem gives an opportunity. Oh, so now so now this is what we do. Man. Now nothing goes to waste, right? Even whatever that we cut, whether I'm, 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 whether it's um, um, a fat, right? And we're not going to use it in like divorce or maybe it's uh, pork skin or whatever it is. We just chop it up. And then we send it to our guy who makes uh, fish food. And then six months later, we're going to have a stock of catfish. And then we're going to sell that. Mm, so it goes as yeah. waste. It product, goes as waste. Turns into food. Correct. Fits, feeds the fish. Yes. And, and then and comes then back as Before fish it now. comes back, in actual fact, the fish, well, the fish now uh, with their waste, right? They, 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 um, the, the, so our, our guy built an aquaponic system where um, the waste now it gives nutrients to the plants, like your, um, it would be like your spinach, um, no, not spinach, sorry, um, e lettuce, right? It would give nutrients to e lettuce. And then now e, 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 e lettuce eats up all of that waste, mm-hmm. right? It becomes like proper food. So nothing now goes to waste. And the ingene in the in the door is a carcass. We cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, turn some into wars, turn some into high quality steaks and and, and cuts. And then uh, I'm a food up, whatever that is left, sawdust, or whatever that we have, La Payana, it goes back to uh, a protea um, in our farm. When it gets there, um, the fish consume it, uh, they lay waste after that. Uh, that waste goes into the into the um, vegetables, 
and then it cleans up the water and then those fish they grow when when they die they're going to come to us in the mississippi thing is mm. the entire ecosystem yes sir yes wow. sir and wow. we learned this along the way so you wouldn't have thought about it i wouldn't so, have thought so about what it what you're saying is that some genius ideas yes don't start out as genius ideas. I, they become genius moves as you I'm move along. Dude, you never planned to be you were you were born. I mean, it's not my responsibility how things happen. For for real. That's not that's how I that's what I, I believe, like honestly in my heart. I can I can I can decide on the what. As to how. Oh, you spell some less of it. Whoever brought me here on earth, what you're gonna be born in 1985, you're gonna be born in Soweto. And you're going to be born out of this woman and this man. And that that was all designed, right? That was, I could have been born you. Like literally, I could have been born you. I could have been born someone else. I could have been born a woman. I could have been born white, green. I don't know. And But I was given a task. The task was, here you are. I mean, I'm in a pool. God. Oh, okay. Where am I? Ah, I was so it. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Not sending. Oh, this is winter. Yo, cha cha cha. This is eighty five. Yo, wait. Okay. So what's my mission? Figure it out. Okay, feed. The figure it out. Oh, okay. So I decide on the what, the how. It always figures out. Like I tell you, two years, maybe three years. Before writing the book, I don't know your experience. You did not know. Oh, uh, no, I quit that actually. Um, maybe let's say last month. You do not know which I'll be here. Mm. Right? Mm -mm. You've got, since we've been sitting here, you've got two calls, three calls that were very important. And those calls, you did not expect them. Literally, 20 minutes in Nila, you do not know you're going to get those calls. No. Exactly. That is the how. That's how the whole, the how works. You understand? The what is that you're gonna have a phone for such calls. You 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 are going to decide to have a podcast. You are going to invite me into the podcast. And that is all the how the the what. That is the what. Oh, podcast. Oh, what does it do? Oh, what time? What 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 what? But the how. What how is gonna pan out? You don't decide on that. So now me, I don't stress myself with deciding with how things are gonna work out. Manager just decided on the white. I decided on the 12th of January. I'm like, guys, I want to start a company. It's going to be a business. I don't know what we're going to sell. I don't know what we're going to call it. I don't know what is it. But what is it going to do is that it's going to achieve 1 million in 24 months. It's um, it's going to be a business where everyone is welcome to join in and let's participate. That is the what, what, what. As to how everything went, the fact which I yield myself for, I understand. The fact that I avail myself. I mean, for the just, machine. For the machine. I avail myself. And then I'm like, okay. And then the universe is like, okay, Sharp, if you want these things, are you going to stay sober? I'm like, yeah. Fair it. So you spin up. I'm not going to drink on weekends. I fair it. Okay, so it's fine. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know? It's like, I love it. When I, but, but there's commitment. You make, you make a deal, Fate. You know, you make a deal with the universe. You make a deal with your God. I want a certain thing. Right? Yeah, it's definitely I, impossible it, it, for you to drink during the week. We am we being talked about. For you, it's difficult for you. Kwana Bantu that is, would say it's difficult for them to not drink. Yeah, I understand. Because Mr. Bai, where, where do they get the time to drink, man? No, 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 they, they, they have different reasons. They have, uh, <laughs> they have different reasons. Yes, yeah, there's different reasons. I understand reason, what yeah. you mean. I understand so, what you mean. So, man, I'm saying what you are saying is mm, with a calling. Yeah. Where. The universe is asking you, yeah. are you gonna be you are you willing to quit that? Yes. So it simply means it is saying to you, the task that you are taking, yes, it's so difficult that yeah. if you don't quit that, yeah, you won't be able to accomplish the task. Are you, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? That's that's the that's the, always the, the calling. The calling is not, hey, go do this. The calling is like, are you gonna do it? Mm. Now tell me. Mm. Then you start the writing. Yeah, yeah. What became the next part? After the writing. Oh, after the writing. Um, uh, you're making money, you're making no, no. 300. Wrote, What's your uh, transition? From yeah, no, I wrote, I started uh, writing for a uh, peace community, right? Started writing for peace community because I could see that the marketing that was being done in the townships was just trash. 
right? It was just wrong. Like the way it was done, you can see the idea was just cooked up in the north somewhere, and then they just bring it to um, bring it to um, a, a lokshin, right? And it did not make sense. So I started like critiquing like these uh, these marketing strategies, right? And then some prop man um, identified me. It's like, yo, I like what you wrote about this. I'd love for you to actually come through and work with us. And I'm taught, oh, now so on much. Saying that now, she, how I seen a marketing uh, uh, company, a sales and marketing company. Saying I span, and now I'm corporate. I'm learning the ropes. And I'm taught. So that that happened. That happened for a long time. And then I met Lohrotman Lil, who eventually became my mentor for a long time. And then we went because Naya, he's one of those he's serious entrepreneurs and not just enough who turns in day one, right? But you know, the thing is he, he does it and then he finishes. Then I'm told, he, like, he goes in and then he does it and then he fails, 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 fails. But he reaches the point where the project is supposed to get to at some point. You know? So now, I'm, now I'm, I'm learning from this person. You know? Every day I get a different job. Because sometimes I'm marketing, sometimes I'm a writer, sometimes I'm doing this, sometimes I do you know like proper, within the business. Yeah, within the business. And uh, now there's actually there's there's like five businesses that he owns. So which means you I represent five. It's not like one task that I have to do. So it's a group of companies. It was a group of companies. You're doing marketing this side, you're doing writing that, this side. Yes. Yeah. I'm told, and mind you, I, I understood what the mission was. The mission was demand. We are Lokshin. So he's like me. I identify like him. He was like, oh, we are Lokshin. Now I mean, we are Lokshin. But to see a person who's done so well and is doing well, and he is, he is like me, that is very important for a young person. Young understand. Because Arapuzi and he's just that, he's doing his thing. So if, if, if Minang Sevens are now like this, it changes what I thought of Ama out and what they can achieve. You understand? It, it it changed what I thought. What what is the uh, the 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 what a black person can achieve that is close to me? Because sometimes we think, oh, yes, black people can achieve this, into, but we think it's not the ones next to me. It's definitely not me, but it's someone. So now I'm working with this guy. I see him every day. I see him failing every day. I see him sometimes he's angry. Sometimes he's happy. Sometimes he's making bad judgments. Sometimes he's making good judgments. And then I'm learning from him. I'm like, oh, so man, this thing is like me. You understand? So so now that that mentorship, right? That mentorship, the, the deal was simple. It was like, I will do everything. To you, who's all born now. But the main thing is that you got an opportunity. Witness. That's the main thing, my man. You got an opportunity which you can work on something. I equal into a kawata, you know, nothing destroys a young man's mind than not having something to do. Young child. So if you have like these tons of things, like this. this How does that destroy a young man? Um... Because there's an age-old adage, um, uh, an idle mind. The right? playground of the devil. 100%. An idle mind. And for things about the prestige, is a young person, Angna, 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 I don't know if it's a child. Then, I'm not saying now you want. Yeah. I don't have a child then. Yeah. I'm not paying a, any bond. I'm not paying any scholar door for a car. I don't like basically I'm just a young person, Jay. You know, a young person. You know what I mean? Stay at home, yeah. you're working, you're hustling. Exactly. So so who 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 am I a who am I a perfect victim to? Anyone that sells alcohol, anyone that sells drugs. They they're waiting for me. You understand? They're waiting for me to come to their side. And then you find this man is giving you a lot of work. And, told, and I think he was even doing it. I'm I think it was on purpose. Because sometimes I'm a Friday, bro. Like you would get so much work. You think we're done. And then you think, ah, okay, fair it. Um, uh, it's Friday in Chai Sile. Let me go drink. And then he calls me. And then he says, 
I want what, 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 what? What are you going to do? So now, ish, I'm a fit. Give her my chance. Now you have to do this thing. It's one o'clock. You're doing something that requires typing and you need to send it. So that was, that was my mentorship. You yeah, understand? That was how I got mentorship. So I got to do a lot of things. And in, in, in the process, I understood what he you know what? I'm going to I'm going to fail this man if I don't go out there and build something of my own. If I do not leave his kingdom and go build something on my own, I would have failed. Because if I stay and overstay, right? If I overstay, it's like now what he was trying to teach me is failing because um I have not become a person, I have not become a man that can stand on his own. This is this is a business relationship, right? But for the fact to he got me when I was a young dude, right? Mm-hmm. that he sees, he probably sees himself in If if he doesn't go a certain way, he's gonna go another route. Gives me a lot of work. I now me just so happens I actually accept this 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 tons of work. And at the end is like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna stay? Because you can stay, I can pay you. You can be a high paid executive. Yeah, you you know what I mean? But for me, I was like, no. You've got what it takes. Yeah. Let me let me let me show you what I learned. And let me show you what I, I learned. And the first show you is me. Right? And then the first the the, the, the next show you is is him. Uti. I, I I know you can pay me. It's cool. I know you can pay me. But again, I'm gonna go risk it. So now you're risking as an adder. You're already used to do to the risking. Now I'm trying. I get to broke so many times. Yeah. I get to be broke so many times. I'm trying. Would I? So what business do you start after leaving? Ten years um, later. You are equipped, you are trained. What uh, business do you get into? Um, okay. At the at the at the first time I left and started a um I started a billboard uh, company, right? I started a billboard company and it was a wall mural. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, What's that? Township. Can you explain it? Wall it's, mural. It's, it's township, township wall mural advertising. Uh, so what, what happens is that um, you basically negotiate with uh, the landlords, Emma um, Lokshini, and then when they agree, you can paint um advertise on the outside yeah oh, outside okay. i've seen, those. I've I mean, seen yeah. those so then you'd have someone that paints at least that way so you don't have um you don't print yeah bo? and they don't tear it down it's painted on the wall yeah, so i started that one you lost money someone someone scammed you <laughs> it's not really a scam it's just you know these guys but so these this guys man. yeah in a way, with him. So these guys said they came to me. I left. I used to work with them. So I left. Uh, I left the company. These are your partners. Basically. Yeah, no, they, they were my colleagues. Colleagues. Yeah. So within in, your new company, where right, we with, within the previous company, and, and then I used to your be boss, boss your, your, yeah, your mentor's company. Yeah. yeah. So and then when I bailed, uh, when I bailed, I said, okay, I mean, I'm gonna go and do this, and they said, nah, okay, cool. But now they were salespeople, and then they said, cool, and then. Um, and then I, 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 and then one came to me and said, no, this way we like what you're doing. So we'd like to get into it. I'm like, ah, okay, cool. So like, okay, you're going to be, they're going to be like sales, uh, people or something. They're going to be sales. And me and I'm going to do the actual, uh, painting of the walls. Well, not me, me, but. You handle uh, the operations. Yeah, the operations. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, and then they went and got this deal, Right. I, it was a little mad. They got this deal and then they jumped me and went to the person that does the artwork. And then they completely got me out. I didn't know until like several years later, which this is what happened because this guy came back, the artist, he came back and told me, what he, no, he's actually been dealing with like gambling habits and, you know, and this is what happened. And those guys went and built a company that is still in existence and actually good for them, you know. But that's, 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 I learned from it. That was expensive school fees. It was. 
You know what I mean? It was and like, oh, okay, fair then. Should have been paying attention. You should have noticed. You should yeah, have been on the board. In retrospect. In yeah. retrospect. Right? Uh, but in uh, uh, retrovision is 2020. Something like that. What you see clearly after something is done. You understand? And and a lot of such things happened. Not to the way I lost, where I, I was sort of like outsmarted or someone sort of like, you know, shashayid or whatever it is. But you get to actually lose a lot of money along the way. You understand? And you, I thought which at some point you actually stop making mistakes. I thought to me that there's a point in your life where you actually literally stop mistakes because you've learned so much. Don't you know? There is no, story. It did no. There, there is no point where you stop making mistakes. It just doesn't happen. Because when you stop making mistakes, it means which you're not trying anything new. And, you, and when you're not trying anything new, and when you're not trying anything new, it means which you're not learning. When you're not learning, you're not growing. Which means if you really want to, if you really want to um uh, be the kind of person that uh, doesn't make mistakes at all. Just keep doing what you're doing, and even then, you're gonna make you're gonna make mistakes, but they're gonna be tiny mistakes that are not worth it. You know what I mean? But uh, growing, right? A growing requires that you move. You're constantly on the move because even that incident I was like, oh, okay, fair it. That happened. So um, I went on to start something called. Um, I create, we create, right? After the world mural company thing. I wanted to start something called I create to create. And then um, we I create to create um, what I've realized, like I said, remember when I went to a triple A, a mm. was that here I am, I am a township dude and on Funux Pana in a watch environment and they sort of not understand. And I believe what I'm very talented. And I'm like, there's so many young people in the hood that are like me but they will never see the light of day inside a, uh, inside an advertising agency because first of all, the, the, the schooling system here is built to push them out in a way, you know, and also uh, the agencies do not come to the hood. They're not going to come in. Say, hey, it's Funama Creatives. No, they can't, you know. So I wanted to build a conduit between creatives in the hood and I'm a, um, um, uh, advertising agencies and it was called I Create to Create and then um, it, it went well because some people were identified and some people went on to actually build proper careers in in Eland on in, in advertising and this was a um, it was a sort of like a, a conference right so I would bring in advertising agencies and I would bring in creators and say guys come exhibit your stuff and then the agency bosses would come and just hang out and see people were singing, you know what I mean? And a number of really professional people right now were there in that, right? So that was I Create to Create. And I I did that whole business here, mural whatnot, right, of advertising, mural advertising. I ditched it. And then I continued. And um, after that, oh, um, as I was as I was doing that, the same crop man saw me, you know what I mean? Because I think I had quit, and then he saw me. I think I I I'd spent at the time I spent probably I mean, five or six years that part, and then um, he called he called me. I know I think I spent like three years, and then he, he called me in um, to come assist him with something. And then I went back right for like one or two years, assisting, 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 you know. And then Marakona lento le na witness, bro. Corner that thing, you know, corner that thing that says, yes, it's okay, you're here, but you're not done. You know what I mean? Like you're not doing what you're supposed to. You're doing what you have to, but you're not doing what you're supposed to. You mm. understand? Mm. So, yeah, yes, we took a shop and then um, I went back, I did some work. Um, I... And then I yeah, did some work, did some work. And then I, I eventually decided the last time, which was about three or four years ago, because it was sort of like a consultancy in it. You know, it was, it was a different arrangement. But at the time I was like, as in, I'm giving myself two years. All right. So I said to myself, I'm giving myself two years and then 
I'm eventually going to quit. I don't know what I'm going to do afterwards, but I'm going to quit. And Ngzoboni plan. Right now, I've, I've done this before. I've quit before. I've survived. I know how, Uti, how, it, how it works. But something always happens. Something great always happens when I decide to take the leap. Right? It, I just have to have the stomach for Inka. I don't understand. So I quit. And then, but this time it was different. I quit because if you see in the last three years, like I was very serious in getting right? Mm. Because I feel which I wanted this time. I wanted this time. I'm quitting and I'm never going to go back, right? I'm never going to go back to anything. I'm really look I'm really nine to five. This, this is for good. But for me to do that, I need to change the person that I am. So I started going to gym because I didn't feel confident in my, in my body. I was like, Oba, no, I believe he's too loud. Whatever you say, because you look like you don't have discipline. So why, why would I, you know, that's all I am like, there's no way that I'm going to convince someone or oh, I can do something. But when you look at me, we are born, oh, I mean, this man does not have discipline. So I went into the gym, got into the gym, got serious about the gym. And I went there into the gym thinking, Wuti, I'm going to reshape my body. And I actually reshaped my mind because Lapa and I learned discipline. I learned what you can actually choose something and stick with it, stay on. And taught. So after three years of doing that, that's when the idea came, Wuti, I can go online and tell people and say, guys, Let's start a business and take it to a million and we're going to do it in two years. Because personally, I've seen it. But this is after you wrote the book. When, yeah. when did you write the book? Uh, that During COVID. 20, I wrote, yeah. 2020. I, I, yeah. And, oh, so and this was, came out at the same time. Yeah, you know, there's a picture about. that is my book, DJ Spoo's book. Yes, yeah, book. Yeah, you have still, seen yeah. that picture. Yeah. It's a very cool picture. Yeah. The, remember what you... It probably, I don't know with your experience, but when when I wrote my book, it was it was because we were writing a lot from dating. On social, on social media, media right on your blog. I and didn't know I was a writer until COVID. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I still say I hate writing, but people were like, no, please write a book. I'm like, Yazin, and let me stop arguing with the peoples. Let me stop arguing with the peoples. Let me give them what they want. And then I went and wrote. So it's like a calling. Now, call. I was like, okay, Fed, you want me to do this thing? And then I went. I did it. I, I wrote a book. And that book is, uh, for me, was like, I'm, I'm writing it for someone for a young person out there, Elokshini, who needs perspective. Young Tonuguti, the drugs that are happening there, there's an opportunity for you, not to say go sell drugs, but there's a there's a there's something that you can learn from what's happening, Elokshin. Young understand. And um when when I made an analogy, Oguti, these young men that are that are trapped by drugs, right? They have this attitude of saying no my in, which means it, it, it means um at any um by any means uh, necessary. I understand. Fair is, it, no my it, direct transition, a direct yeah. translation would be anything, right? So let's do anything. But but the, the essence of it, you know, the, the nuanced one is is by any means necessary. Let's let's do anything, fit. And, and I'm telling you, look, look, there's a book, there's a book, you have tours, there's um there's property, there's now there's a podcast. Now a self is a normal. Mm. Who's not doing normal? Honestly, who's not doing no my right now? No pilkates with the no my in now seven ama saga on ama ama vichi farm na na no my in because because remember what I think the 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 other problem that we learned was that we sort of were made to believe what you you are born in a certain with a certain destiny and then you're gonna just go straight da you don't understand no you're not gonna just go straight at some point. Book and number box. Yeah. Imagine if you could travel in the future. And maybe let's say you're 10 years old and then you ask like this magical ball, would uh, can you please show me what I'm doing in 10 years from now? And then it just so happens which it falls on that day where you're gunning boxes. You're gonna be depressed.
You look <laughs> depressed. <laughs> Young Todd. So that's why the heart doesn't matter. That was not a good day for me. Yeah, you know that? That was not a good day for me. But that's what I'm saying with Infecture. You know my in the show, like we need to be flexible in terms of how we answer, um, how we answer the calling, how we navigate this life thing. Because I gave Kumundona my answer. If anyone had an answer, you would say how we can do this thing. Who would work? Who? Like, do you think, do, do you honestly think, take a Trevor Noah, do you honestly think, would, there was a day in his whole life, whole life, where he thought, oh, he's going to be on the daily show. Do you think, if you go ask, who play coffee, man, who play coffee, did you know, who you're going to play in that club, in that club, in that club, on this day, in this day, in this day? In that country, that in that country, country, that country. country. No one knows mm. the how. But what is it? The what? He's been doing what he's supposed mm -hmm. to do. Do what he's supposed to do. That's all. I been as much as I you one day, right? I didn't even know I have a YouTube channel, my man. You understand? I never so, thought in a million years. But what is it? You just you just have to be. You just have to. Can I actually tell you a story about this YouTube channel? Yeah, tell me. It's that. a young guy that I used to mentor. Yeah. At church, mm. young guy came into church. He was young, high school. I used to pay for his trips. Yeah. Um, any church trips there were, camps, whatever. I used to mm. it's the young guy I used to take care of. Mm. So I published the book 2020. It's popular, it's everywhere. Mm. This guy goes and starts a YouTube channel. Yeah. With my name and everything. Yeah, yeah. Comes to me, gives me the login details. Yeah, he's like, you've done, done a lot. You've done a lot yeah. for me. Here's your channel. Yeah. Up. yeah. When that's, are we shooting? That's the dudes. When are we shooting? Yeah. First few videos, he was doing them. Yeah. And then I was like, ah, this YouTube thing. Then I stopped. Yeah. Then later on, like this year, like yeah, it came boy. to me that, but I'm wasting my influence. Yes. When I call people new witness, they yeah. answer my call. Yeah, we're going to come through. I yeah. need to be bringing these people yeah. so that other people can benefit from that wisdom. 100%. I can sit and ask you this question, 100%. these questions, and nobody's there. Exactly. But you see, now I can ask you this. And there's a benefit for somebody else because they get into because you see they get you, to hear you what you're saying. And other networks and other people, we have these conversations, Jal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like minimum slang now somewhere. Last time I think Slangane had another interview with which we were invited to, right? Yes. And then we had conversations, but we don't obviously record those conversations. So now it's like, oh, great opportunity. It's like, okay, what kind of conversations you and I can have but now it's for the benefit of other other people but here's the thing that kid you never asked him to do the login details right when when uh, you did the what for him right you did the what and uh, now nah, he, he never knew would he he's gonna do the uh the youtube channel for you but yeah. at some point a message came to him that said do this thing and give it to this man it it came. I didn't even know that I could be have a YouTube channel. Man. When you I was like, know. what does it work? You never, I'm telling you, my man. And I, recently he started another YouTube channel. It's big now. You he, see what I mean? He's big on TikTok. There we go. There this go. guy. How is the how? Like, uh, well, what, how are you going to, how are you going to plan this and do to that point? You can't. You can the only say. of it. You God can't. Different people. hundred percent. Like, the my influence, like, 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 people are going to come to you. When are the only, the only thing that you need to do, I genuinely, genuinely witness, if there's anything I believe more than anything now, is that I just have to be there at the event of my life. Just, just stay alive. That's all. I just need to keep breathing. And I, I will do anything to, to breathe. Yeah, right? And it's not, I've seen the It's like, for you to breathe, you think it would just pay formula. No, you don't just pay formula. First of all, you avoid situations that would end you. Scale it up. You eat food that will make you breathe longer. You live a life where you live with people that want the best of you, that want you to live longer. Breathe, it's not just breathing, my man. You understand? And imagine I come to realize what it is. Me being born is like what I was given was sharp. I was given, I was given like the body, right? By my parents, right? Because I look like them in one way or the other, right? But what they did not give me was the breath that is keep that keeps on going in and out. And I need to respect that. 
You don't understand. I need to I need to respect the the breath that keeps on coming in and out. Because apparently that is God. I, I don't know the Bible to that point, but I know to, there's something that has to do yeah, with breath says, and God. It says in, in Genesis, yeah. it says God after forming you yeah. or forming Adam, yes. breathed, breathed his breath into him. And that's life. And then he yeah. came to life. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. You want to lay the breath. That's that, the God part. Yeah. I understand. And mm, it, I never it, thought of it that way. Right, that's why I'm here. Yeah, well done. I understand. So now explained it very well. So, 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 so to take care of your breath, right? It's to take care of a lot of things. A lot of things. How how you move, what you eat, how you take care of your body. Because all of it is to stay breathing. Mm. You understand? It's mm. to stay breathing. That's that's the only thing you just need to manage. You just manage that part. I'm telling you. So now. The how of what everything happens are access stress, my man. Why not just be there at the event of your life? Make sure what you have breath in you and my phone is a witness at the end of a Zogala Gimi, Sizo Shooter in in Angtawa. Now I'm not dragged up. Then Todd, because I'm there at the event of my life. Get a man you call. Now Tolama calls no, but hey. We need to change in in. You have you have employees. My funny action, man. We need to take a decision, right? The way that you manage you manage your breath, yearly, that puts you into these opportunities that you have, man. You would you're able to take a call. Ah, oh, sure. And the call comes in as we speak <laughs> to validate the message. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, man. And I I switched off this thing. And today there was some wild switch off at eleven. I did tell you. I'm fifty. Android is embarrassing. I sh- and oh, she like how or so. Yeah, I'm told. So um, I don't worry about the how witness, right? Mm-hmm. So in everything that has happened um in my life to this point, in everything that has happened in my life, um. What what I've seen, Wooty, the only thing that I've been doing ne, was mm. to to respond, right? Was to respond to my circumstances, and I was responding because I was young, so I was learning how to respond, right? So mind you, where I am is if I can influence any part of my life, right? If I can influence any part of my life, lim. Let me do so and decide on the what I'm going to influence it with, you know. So now I've become so bold, Uti. Now I can say, let's, let's, let's do something. Um, I know what you're having these, um, um, these, these conferences, right? What you call it? Mm-hmm. You're having these conferences, right? And at some point it came to you, Uti is a conference. Young Torapura. Like some at some point it came to you. But there was it, it that was not the first time. The first time he came, he said, Ah Mina. Mm. Come fancy. Mm. You want you want to tell me what Mina can bring like a thousand people together? You, you understand? You figure it's figure than jarring into these things. So mind you, you wrote a book, you probably thought you won't be able to wrote, to write a book. You've you've done all of these things. You understand, Uti, now you're becoming bolder and bolder now. You understand? Now yeah. you're becoming bolder and bolder. It's like, I, if I can put together 1,000 people, I'll score for 10,000. That's, yeah. that's what, that's what um, old Casper did. Fill well, he up. said, fill up the dome. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But you know there was a body he, of proof. Yeah. But you know what he did? He, he declared, he declared this intention out openly, especially when something involves a, a lot more other people. You understand? When you declare it, and it's about, no, don't show your plans until what, what. But it's in this phone, you am going to know what, what needs to be done. What needs you to be need done. to keep your plans to yourself. Yeah. The, they they yeah. might not know the formula of how it works. Yeah, we're going that, to reach 100,000 subscribers yeah. by the end of 2024. Yeah. yeah, And declare you guys it. will help help us you declare it, achieve man. it. Share this video, ah. comment. That's all you need to do. And and you see, you've just got yourself into trouble. Yeah. Because when you say that, yeah. now you have to be accountable 
Of course. So which means whatever that it is you do, as both you and check into the end of 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 the end the importance of accountability, ne? The, the importance of accountability. Well, not accountability as such, but the important the importance of having people to account to is that you, you first you have you, you first make make a deal with your maker, God, universe. You make a deal with it. It's okay, as in Mfuno Grichi hundred thousand, that's a shot. Well, I suppose everything is with him, it's like cool. Everything with the universal. Because the fact that you thought about it, it means what it exists. Yeah. So, and then you declare it with your daughter, for example. Mm. Uh, because obviously to, to a child, you put it in a, in a way that they understand. You're not going to say, I want to have a hundred thousand. You know, you say, um, um, what, what benefit, what, what benefit does a hundred thousand mean to her? Maybe it, it's what if you have if you have uh, that hundred thousand, yeah? sure, it will mean she gets like a bicycle, sure, right? So you say, I'm going to get you at the end of 2024. I'm going to get you a, the bicycle that you want, or we're going to go on that holiday that you want. I'll take you to Disneyland, yeah, for instance, for a instance, celebration because that's what that's what the hundred thousand means to her. Because I need to maybe there's monetary value to it. So the monetary, that's what it means. And then when you look at your partner, right? And then you say, as in, we want to move. I know you want to move or you want to uh, do this and that as my partner, right? And then you say, at the end of 24, 2024, this is what I'm going to do. You understand? Yeah. You, go, you go to your staff. You say, at the end of 2024, I want to give you X amount of bonuses you see Wuti, the the goal you are but how you communicate it to everyone that you're accountable to is different but everyone now is looking at you your daughter's like your partner's like man i'm waiting for that house the employees is like we're working for that bonus when are you know what the real formula is you you know Uti, what does this hundred thousand mean to you? Because you know what if I reach that hundred thousand, so many, so many, so many opportunities are gonna come from there. Which I don't know how they're gonna happen. But I know the what, which the what is definitely that hundred thousand. And the one day <laughs> you, you you realize Uti. Everyone that has like a million views or a million followers, at some point they wished that they had a hundred thousand. All of them. I'm sure. Like if, if it's not accidental, if they really wanted to grow like that, everyone at some point wished to go to the heaven. But that goal is so far down now. They understand. They're not even there. It's it that now it's like now, when you started TikTok. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll yeah. reach 10,000 people. Yeah, I remember you used to count. Yeah. Was also yeah, like. we're like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, now we're getting there. But now you're like, and I'm really left with you. Right? So, you're really like, so, you're like it. Mm. so now you're like, I know something from 100,000 yeah, yeah, YouTube. And say, so cool, like, but you see, but how you, how, how you, how, but how you, how you interpret that energy of wishing for something in your body? I wonder if you've done it before. Mm. If you've done something before. Mm. And then if you were at some point, you're like, yo, I really want to have like 100,000 TikTok uh, people or followers. And then you have them. And then now you're like, anything that I wish for, I'm not going to have the anxiety that I had I before. Have. Because we are one with the anxiety was actually useless. I did not have to have that anxiety. So now that's why you're bold to say 100,000, 2024. Without any feeling of, are you sure? Mm. I, yeah, I like, yeah, 100,000. Because you've been there before. You know, you've been there and we are going to fit. Okay, this thing is doable. What, what is it that I want to, what is it that I have to do? So which means I have to keep on doing this thing at the time that I'm supposed to. Maybe to give me a shoot time before. I'm going to be here shooting a four. That is the what. As to how it's going to, which episode 
is going to be the one that takes it to a hundred thousand. You don't know. You can't play. Otherwise, you would have done it a long time ago. Dang it. Otherwise, you would have, have done it for that. You would have gone episode. for that. Yeah. So, but mind you, what is it? The what is that you just need to get come here. You're going to need to record. My Scott Supano record. You're going to do that. That is the what. So the how. Because uh, yeah, that you look look back at your at your growth on my numbers. It's always some one or two videos or three videos that really turned things around. But for you to get to that turning around, there's like a hundred attempts. Yeah. You understand? Or some post yeah. But the numbers are going up. No, no. Yeah, footy footy tina we love Elaine to show. Like we love a good train <laughs> we, we love a good train wreck. Um the the most recent for me was when I well well besides today, right? Besides today I I posted on Twitter, which is day three hundred and twenty-five, and we start we started a company in in January 2023, and we started with zero rents. And I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew when I when I'm ve- I'm very intentional when I'm writing with words. I'm very intentional. When I said with zero rents, Mama Pega, all the other posts, ne, but I didn't say zero rents. Right? Mm. And I said I said in building aquaponics and whatnot, I do not want it to blow up. At the time. Yeah, I do not want to do I was recording it so that the time when I wanted to to blow up, right? This document, this documentation, which I when are you discovering this thing now? I've been doing this thing, right? So a lot of people were not seeing it, but I was just parking it there. Parking it. I was just writing day three hundred and one man. So today I said zero ranks. And I knew which what South Africans what uh, Twitter South Africans are going to get. I said, oh, I'm done. You're zero rents. Here's another uh, motivational, speak, speaker. motivational speaker who's saying who started a couple with, with the rice. Everyone is a motivational everyone, speaker. Yeah, Even everyone. me, I'm, apparently I'm a motivational speaker. Wow, yeah. <laughs> if, if you take it as motivation, sharp. If you take it as a They're coach. They're motivated. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> if I take it as a coach, it's fine. You know, yeah. whatever. You know, but, but the main thing is that, so they love a good train wreck. So, there's even one who tried, like there's one person who tried. A lot, luckily, a lot, a lot of people that um, responded to the post today, right? They they were more inspired than they were negative. Sure, right? sure. they were way more inspired, and because there is proof, mm. right? Because I've been putting it, but I wasn't putting it there. I was putting it, I was putting it good TikTok, putting it on TikTok. Yeah. So now, so now, um, we are, uh, we are three hundred and twenty-five days later. I felt it okay, it's fine. Now I can tell the people in church, okay, this is what's happening. And when they come, it's like, here are the receipts. So let's say there's a young boy. Yeah. Young guy. Yes, sir. Young man. Yeah, young man. 20, 21. Mm. Or even a young lady. Mm. They can't see, you know. Because we have to balance these days. Yeah. That camera there. Oh, this one, number one. It's for them. They're okay. watching through that one. And, and they're saying, yeah. 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 but it's tough. Yeah. You know, I don't have the mindset that you have. Yeah. I, I don't have the intelligence that you have. You know, those limiting beliefs. Mm. I'm not mm. smart. Mm. I'm not intelligent enough. Mm. I didn't overcome stuff. Mm. What would you say to them as, as we close? I, I don't want you uh, to leave here without talking to them. Or oh, as in, um, there's so many things ne, that um, you you need to you need to do and that you're gonna do. A lot of them you're not gonna choose. So start with believing or um everything that's gonna happen to you is going to be because right? Find faith. Let's start there. Like Nami, I keep on saying I mean I need do any in in but I have a spiritual system that I follow because isn't that I'm Shabini? There's no way that you also say that like we want. You understand? Like there's no way that you can go through this life thing and be the most smartest person to figure those things out. Sometimes you need to have something that you believe in where now for where now that gives you strength when you lose strength. Have a belief system. I know what he is. So I mean, I hate this, but I don't believe in God. Eh, eh. Fine. It's okay. But 
have a system that is that enables you to keep a discipline and accountability right and then the next thing is understand what you are going to figure it out for when and only you are going to figure it out you're going to have people that are going to come and help but when as an individual it is your duty and you are capable to figure it out and understand don't don't blame isn't this fun or oh, oh, no this is what happened this is why i can't do it because my mother did this my parents did this uh, my friends did this you need to get past those things because if you don't get past those things literally you are going to be stuck cornered up you will never want to move so john obusho i would say um witness or to i'm a i'm a myself uh, self limiting beliefs self limiting beliefs bro i mean they never stop na manji na manji i i have self limiting beliefs you know, understand like for example i don't think uti i said everything that i wanted to say to you as i'm speaking to you but what am i doing i'm doing it mm. you know, understand and i wrote a book and i'm not an author until i wrote a book you know, told, i started a business go uti um i was never an excellent or a great entrepreneur you know, understand who can want to start somewhere where they doubt themselves and the doubt is good because it pushes you Uti, you must do better and constantly do better so live with the doubt don't think oh it's going to go away live with the doubt accept what my challenges they are good because if i honor my challenge then it means we're not growing so be comfortable in challenges and live with the doubts but do what you need to do sure sure yes i put Thank you so much I brother know, bro, I'm, I for coming know. through. Thank you very much. For adding value for the work that you're doing for South Africans man. Yes sir. And I'm sure now even people from across the world mm. are following their work, your work, they are following your journey. 100%. So keep inspiring putting me the business grow. Yes. Sir. Uh, may yes. God continue to prosper you. Bring you more resources, you know. Yes, we need yes, we need yes. more people that look like you and I. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Representing. You know, and by representation we simply don't mean go to gallery or we simply mean yeah. there's a kid that can look at you and say if Ubanele can do it I can do I it. too can do it yeah yeah 100%. you know so I wish you more more success and prosperity yes. and for you guys if you are not inspired I don't know what's <laughs> going to inspire you you know so that's the purpose of why we have the winner circle on the it's more than just money movement yeah. channel you know bringing people that are winning in different parts of the world and different parts of life you know so that we can draw some inspiration from that and use it also to build our own lives if you haven't subscribed click on that subscribe button click on that notifications bell comment let us know which part of this conversation you resonate with and share this video so that more people can get value from it from myself and my team broadcasting from yeah. Johannesburg South Africa We are out. It's more than just money. Hola. No my ini. Nazo. Hola. I can see them good. Cut. Are we going to stop? Sorry.